Your basement smells like camel's butthole, dude. It's probably just your upper lip. No. It smells like virgin in here. Do you know the smell from personal experience? Nope. I could just spot a virgin from a mile away. So, you and your friends get in white vans and go virgin spotting often, huh? That's good, dude. What up, man? Thanks for letting me crash here while my parents are gone. Yeah, of course. Are you kidding? This is going to be the ultimate three-day sleepover, man. Let the festivities begin. Dang. So then Aaron's over in the corner, one of these two ginormous rats, like gigantic, biggest rats I've ever seen. I mean, New York rats, so they're like possums on steroids pretty much. So I'm over there with a huge chocolate streak in my pants. And I mean, it looks like I pretty much just pooped myself. And that's the story of how we spent the entire weekend in county jail, all because Cliff wanted to go golfing. Dude, what? Isn't that Brad Newman and Chad flipping it? Yeah, what are they doing here? Hey Chad, look, it's Poo Fighters. You guys fresh from tour with the Red Hot Sissy Peppers? Isn't he supposed to be in a company by an adult? Yeah, where's your handler, buddy? Where's your helmet? Shut your loser's door. Easy, Brad. You better come with your boyfriend before he gets out of line, Chad. Somebody hopped their way into the gene pool while the lifeguard wasn't watching. Yeah, these two fellows are a few fries short of a Happy Meal, am I right? Just think, a village somewhere is missing its idiot. Okay, we get it. You win. What are you two blockheads doing here anyways? Chad's parents are in Colorado for the weekend. I'm throwing a rager. Wanted to see if this place had some decent speakers. Apparently not. Are you guys still in that band? What about it? If you guys are any good, you could maybe play a song or two. I mean, we haven't been doing too many free shows lately. You guys have been playing the same two songs since eighth grade. Nobody cares. We got new music. Great, then I can't wait to hear it Friday night at my party. Dude, that's the chorus to Love and Thunder. I don't know why we agreed to do this party if we haven't written any new songs since eighth grade. We're definitely gonna tank. Maybe the room could use a shift in energy, man. Think we should light some incense?
Oi. I'm John. <laughs> <laughs>
but you have to decide whether it's going to be me or the band. You can cheer yourself out. Yo. Yo. Uh, Get up, dude. It's like 3 o'clock. Word. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry I gotta do this to you, but I should take you home. Dude, what happened to the ultimate sleepover? I don't know, bro. I'm kind of off it. I think I might need some space. Dude, is this about what Becca said yesterday? What did she say to you? The truth. The truth? Like, like the time you had a house party here and she hooked up with Will Polinski in the bathroom? And you asked her about it, and she told you the truth? You mean like that? You are freaking unbelievable, man. I knew you made that up the second it came out of your mouth. Mac, it's the truth. It's not. Becca hates Will Polinski more than anyone in our entire grade. And you know I'm right, because Becca hates everyone. I mean, how stupid do you think I am, Xavier? If you think making up crap like that is going to make me choose you over her, then you got another thing coming. Oh, come on. You know, it's so unbelievable to me to think that I'm still friends with you knowing that you would choose any girl over me. Okay, so you don't think I value our friendship anymore? How about Melissa, Savannah, Eliza, all three of them broke up with me because I spend way more time with you than I ever did with them. Dude, it's like you just don't care at all that I have a life of my own. Every time you call, you expect me to just drop whatever I'm doing because it doesn't matter and I had to come pick you up and listen to your problems. Every time we hang out, I am making a sacrifice, and I'm not going to lose Becca over you. Listen to yourself, dude. You chose to do this. I'm not tying you down and forcing you to hang out with me. I hit you up to hang out because supposedly you're my best friend. Are you kidding me? I didn't even want to hang out this weekend. You made it this big deal that your parents were going to be gone over break. Bro, are you the People's Republic of North Korea? Am I Kim Jong-un controlling your mind right now? And the fact that you're blaming me just proves my point. What point is that? That those girls didn't break up with you because of me. They broke up with you because you couldn't take responsibility for your own actions. You know, sometimes I think back to that fourth grade science project and Mr. Jackson's. Maybe if he had just paired me with Billy Zeman like he was going to, things would be a little bit different. I'd have a better best friend. Just get out, dude. Hall of Famer, how did you not know? Championship, about to win a Super Bowl. Fans in the stand, love it when I'm in the dome. Touchdown, dance, celebrating, cause I'm home. Fleeks on my feet, running routes all day. Shotgun, wildcat, I know all the play. Could have been a quarterback, just put me in the game. I was born a champion, and I just want the ring. Oh my god, who's on Ox? They're killing the vibe. Yep. Why is Jessica wearing yoga pants? I mean, just because you wear clothes made to work out doesn't mean that you actually do. Uh -huh. It's clear that she's never gone to yoga a day in her life. Oh my god, and Megan, she thinks she's so cool because she goes thrift shopping. But there's a fine, fine line between looking indie and looking homeless. You are so right. Every time I do it, make it look easy. Better be prepared when you come for me. Don't talk me to death, you know that stuff cheap. I go hard on the west, I go hard on the east. Of course, Chad's the best dress at his own party. I mean, if you don't want to spend all that time in the closet. I'm gonna get some juice. Know some juice. Championship rings on my hand, go bling in. Give me one. Good Yo. I don't think you're gonna make it, man. I wasn't the one that failed on the gig, dude. Alright, yeah. I messed up. I didn't have to deserve that. I made a mistake. You I guys mean, made it. Low key thought you guys were gonna chicken out because you couldn't write any new songs. I got a new song in my head right now. It's called Black and Yellow. It's about your teeth. Your butt must get pretty jealous of some of the crap that comes out of your mouth. I don't know what your problem is, dude, but it must be pretty hard to pronounce for you. <gasps> I could eat a bowl of alphabet soup and come up with a statement way smarter than whatever it is you just said. I was pro-life until I met you. If I threw a stick, you'd leave, right? Are you born under a highway? There's no way you were in an accident. And you'll never be half the man your mom is. 
Do you ever wonder what it'd be like if you got enough oxygen in this kid? Oh, Jesus, dude. Oh, touch me, dog. Relax, Bowser. Are you good, bro? No, I'm not good, bro. I told you I'm allergic to apple juice, and that punch bowl is at least 75% apple juice. What's the other 5% then? Water. My dad doesn't let me drink apple juice straight. Too much sugar. So you losers gonna perform or what? I'm going on solo tonight. My brother brought his drum set upstairs, so I'm going solo. All right, whatever. Yo, party people! We're moving the party upstairs! Musical performance, live! my friend. Oh. I'm a white bread kind of guy. I'm not a big fan of wheat bread. I don't even like those flavored wheat crackers. I actually started an online community to petition for a non-wheat version. Yeah, I had to take it down though. A lot of people joined the online group for all the wrong reasons. White Thins attracted some real weirdos. <laughs> Thank you. The internet is just full of weird people. In general, half the people on there are total creeps. Fun fact, 1.6 billion of the internet's users are actually in Asia. Based on that, I can tell you that 800 million of those Asians are total creeps. <laughs> and I know I'm very funny. Another fact about the internet is that South Korea has the best internet connection and fastest wireless signal in the entire world. However, right next door is North Korea, the country infamously known for the world's most garbage internet. <laughs> right? And now, war is no laughing matter. But a part of me still believes that their civil war started because South Korea wouldn't share their Wi-Fi password. <laughs> I mean, I get mad when my homie won't share the hotspot, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the sexiest late night show on TV. I'm your host, Jimmy Fallis. And my next guest needs no introduction. Uh, right, so, uh, who are you again? Uh, thanks for having me on the show, Jimmy. All right, fine, don't tell me your name. Uh... 
So are you going to ask me some questions or... I'll be asking the questions here. All right. So your band is uh, called Painted Faces. Uh, how'd, you, uh, how'd, you, how'd, you, how'd you come up with that name? Well, you see, Jimmy... It's Mr. Phallus to you. Uh, Mr. Phallus? Um, Painted Faces reflects the nature of modern society. You know, as, as kids, we grow up with face painting. And as adults, we learn to mask our emotions, i.e., paint our faces. Basically, we're all a bunch of phonies. <laughs> Bet you thought that was pretty funny, huh? Real clever guy. Think you could come on the show, tell a couple jokes, get a few laughs? Let me tell you something about how this show works, all right? I'm the funny guy here, me. I get paid the buco bucks to be here, so you just play your role, schmuck. Because funny guy is taken. All right, next question. How do you feel about euthanasia? You mean like assisted suicide and mercy killings? God, geez, no. I mean like Chinese kids. But assisted suicide wouldn't be a bad way out of this interview because you're bombing it, kid. Yeah, one more time. I'm sorry. One more time, pal. Really, I'm sorry, dude. Chill. So I hear you're working on a new album. Uh, yeah. Uh, my debut album is called Corduroy Sandals. Well, it would be a shame to talk about the new album without hearing any of the songs. Am I right? Yeah. Performing a new single off their upcoming album, Corduroy Sandals. Please give it up for Painted Faces. There's a zombie on the floor Who's been writing all my scores And I ask him who they're for Yeah. 